you have four candles. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys are going to do with these candles this evening? Well, these candles will be lit and they'll be held and they represent the lives that were tragically taken this Sunday. So, And each one of the candles has the person's name on it? Name on it, correct. Yeah. And why did you want to have this uh, community prayer service for the community? I was in the hospital Sunday with the family when, you know, when this thing hit. And I, I'm a volunteer chaplain for the police department. I've been around for a little while. This was needed. Uh, the people are hurting, not just only here, but all across this country. And so I felt it's, it's just a good time to come together and pray and to, and to just restore the public trust in law enforcement. Also to pray for those who lost loved ones. And you said you were with the family at the hospital for both deputies? Yeah, yes. Uh, I didn't see the other deputy, but the uh, one who had passed, I was there with, with, with his family, Campos' family. And uh, that, was, that, was, that was incredibly moving. I, I just remember when we were in the room and uh, his wife was there, you know, praying and hugging. And as they brought his body out with the um, flag on it, you know, KMC is busy, he's hopping. When they brought his body out in the hallway to bring him out, everything stopped. Mm. It was just, everything stopped until he, they rode his body by. Um, it just, it was one of those moments that I, it just, it just touched me and I said, you know what, we need to come together. This, we need to come together on this and pray for our officer, pray for first responder, pray for those that love lost ones, loved ones and, and just come together as a community. Absolutely. And have you talked to the family at all? Have you gotten any updates on how they're doing? I have not since uh, Sunday. I talked to them on Sunday. Haven't talked to them since, no. And uh, this is going on until about 820-ish, is that correct? 820, correct. And we're, this is a community prayer. We're just going to have people from the community. Um, public officials are coming. Uh, law enforcement officers called me. As a matter of fact, one of, uh, a SWAT officer texted me this morning when I sent them the flyer, and he said, he said this to me text me and said, I'm struggling, bro. These are the guys that run into this. These are the guys that are ahead of us. These are the guys that protect us day in and day out. And he's struggling. This is why we're down here today.